Okay, this is a video on how to remove a power module from a Rotorque IQT Mark III and also the onboard nominal supply loom. Here's the tools you'll need. A 5mm and 6mm hex socket, an extension, a right angle pick, needle nose pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. And something to drive those sockets. Step one is to remove the HMI. Once the four bolts are removed that hold the cover on, be careful for the electrical connector underneath. That's the connector right there. Pull it straight up and out. Now we'll remove the main control board. These tabs right here get depressed and then they pull apart and there's a ribbon connector right here. Now that the tabs are depressed, we have our main harness side and we have the opposite side. Remove the one connector that's on the opposite side. Now that I've removed that connector, remove the ribbon connector by pulling these tabs out and to the side. Ribbon comes up. Now flip the main control board over and let it hang just like that. This control board stand can be removed and just pull that out. This one has got a connector through it. This is our nominal supply loom connector. What I'm going to do is just pull this stand out slightly and set it aside to expose this connector. With my right angle pick I'm going to release the locking tab that's on the bottom of that connector and remove this connector from the power module. Now that I've done that I can remove this stand and get to removing the power module. Okay, I'll start by removing these two connectors that are right here. They just pull straight out. Then I'll remove this spade terminal connector and disconnect this plastic connector. Now that I've got this connector removed and this connector removed and these two connector removed, connectors removed, I will remove the four socket head allen screws that are holding in the power module. Now I'll get these wiring harnesses out of the little black plastic arms that hold them in place. Now that those are free, there's one last connector underneath, so as I pull up the power module, I will release its tab with a flathead screwdriver. Now that I've released that connector, I'm going to pull the power module straight up and out of the actuator. And this is what it looks like when you have it out. And there's the hole where it goes back in. Okay, on the opposite side of the main control board and harness, I should have two looms. One that has this single wire connector, our spade connector, and then our nominal supply loom. This is what we're changing out today from 24DC to 120AC. In order to do that we have to get to the terminal bung down there. So we'll remove the terminal cover and get going. Remove the terminal cover. Remove the snap ring that holds in the terminal bung. That's the snap ring removed. I just use a needle nose pliers. Grab it by this nipple and pull it right out. Now we can remove the terminal bung. Okay, you can either pull straight back with like a pair of pliers on here, or you can even go from the front of the actuator with a rod and just poke it out that way, being careful not to hit any of the terminal cover or terminal connection points. Now I'm going to find my two wire connector loom, pull it from the front to the back here, pull it off of these two terminals, which should be terminals four and five and the wires are labeled so when you replace this one with the correct voltage land the correct terminals the correct wires on the correct terminals and then reinstall everything and you're good to go